Hey y'all. So um the earring that I posted in the group with the scroll. I'm gonna show you how to do that here in Cricut. Um, especially if you don't know how to make gradients yourself. So let's get started. You can go to um, Google and search gradient backgrounds or wallpapers and you can find, make sure you use free images though, find um, images that you can use that already are made into gradients if you don't know how to make your own gradients. So yes, you can get gradient backgrounds off of Google or what have you. And then just bring it into your um, design space. So let's grab a circle shape. And we're not going to worry about what size it is right now. We're just going to grab the shape. Zoom it up. Let's make a duplicate of this. So if we want to step back at any time to use the full. Um, design we can so take take the circle shape place it over the gradient part you want so if you if you want all of these colors in the gradient place it over there if you just want these two colors put it over there if you just want these two slide it all the way to the edge there so I'm gonna put it here and then I'm going to select them both and slice going to turn that off I'm going to turn that off so now here is your gradient earring for your scroll you can have it you can make it a solid color or you can turn the gradient box back on the one that you made a duplicate of make another duplicate and let's turn that one off so we'll have it now you can take this, move it to the front, and then slide it where you want. You can make this smaller so it could fit into the gradient space you want. And select them both, and then slice. cut that off and then you can cut that off so now you have a a um, gradient scroll you can make your offset let me make this bigger so you can see if you have offset in here you could do this outside of here if not then you'll just make this a solid color so you can it can contrast with this And you see here it did not fill in all the way what you can do here is just grab a circle shape or any of the shapes that's going slow make it smaller fit it over that area and then weld those two together okay we're not we don't need We do need so let's put this back here so we can let that stay black if you want to I'm gonna let it stay black for now so for now I'm going to attach these two then I'm gonna turn them off and I will turn on the name It's stuck because I have I, I don't create anything in here. I make all my stuff outside of here, so I'm just showing you guys a little quick tutorial how to make if you don't use any other design programs you can make something in here. So 
and slice these two apart. Okay, and let's cut this one. Well, we cut from here, so we could probably use, yeah, we could still use this one. So I'm going to use maybe this combination. here so let's select these two and slice so cut this back off cut this off so now I have that I'm just zoomed in so you can see so now I have that and so I think I'll leave that back black as well and then I'm going to attach these two now we can begin to put our earring together almost because I want to take um, let's see scrub a square and I want to get about maybe this much of the circle almost half not quite half but almost half so let me duplicate and let's slice that so we don't need that don't need that we don't need that so now now we can begin so we're gonna I'm gonna do everything um, big so you can see what I'm doing before I do that let's I gotta size both of these at the same time okay so now get your name it to the front then to the front position it where you want it let's turn on the scroll and bring it to the front going to make it almost the width of the um, circle okay like so and then we'll take this part and we're going to make it a basic cut and then we're going to make it black it right in front bring that down into there make justice a little bigger and I like to tilt it just a little bit I think I'll tilt it just a little bit take all of this and you can flatten it and that is your earring you can take a circle shape and you can go ahead and add the hole in or you can hope do a whole use the hole puncher after you get it printed which you can make um, just remember when you once you flatten it you won't be able to change anything you can step back and then duplicate it and then flatten that way you can come back to this project and change something or use it as a template so you can make your circle here I'll 
it's about center or you can use a template to do this as well from an earring you already have and then hit since I already flattened I can't hit slice so let's step back control Z Let me let it catch up. Okay, so we've stepped back. Let's select all of that and I'm gonna select all and then I'm going to attach and then I'm gonna duplicate. So with this attachment, I'm gonna just turn this one off. That way, if we mess something up, we can come back to that one. So with this one, we're going to take and create a circle. Size it down. Let us delete it from this. Now let's see if it'll let us slide. No, it won't let us slide, so we're going to have to detach. And then select these two and now slice. Um, send to the back. Now we can flatten this. Flatten. Duplicate. And now you have your earrings. That's it, guys. This is how you can use the scrolls. You can make these any color you want to make them. Any color you want to make them. You can use use it to make pendants. You can make these into for charms. You can make these for t-shirts. They can be circle shapes or you can do them square shapes or heart shapes. Whatever shape you want to make. You can do this same thing. This is how you can also utilize the scrolls that you get from the group free scrolls for the group or scrolls that you buy from the website i hope this helps before i go though i do want to say that um if you buy scrolls from my website they come with their own um shadow layer or um, outline layer for the scroll um, the ones I sell on the website and I'm, maybe some of the ones I give you all in the group come with them too I'm, I can't remember but I do know the ones that I sell on my website they come with a shadow layer so if you don't have if you don't have the offset feature in your design space yet because it is in, still in beta mode so everyone won't have it but if you don't have it yet and you have purchased um, scrolls from my website they will already have the offset or the shadow layer I make them like that when I sell them so if not and you use Fonto to make your shadow layer before you bring your scroll into Cricut or make your shadow layer before you bring your um, names into Cricut then that way when you bring everything in and you just need to um, subtract the slice the gradient picture to fill in your colors or you can do everything in Fonto or wherever you whatever you work in then bring it into Cricut and put it together that's up to you however you want to do it I hope this helps